Hello and welcome. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers released Russell Gage. We haven't talked about it yet, but let's hit on it really quick. This one, not surprising. All right, the trade of Carlton Davis, maybe a little bit surprising. Some of the things we've seen this offseason, definitely slightly surprising. But Russell Gage has not played for the Buccaneers. And that sentence needs little to no context because he quite literally has almost never played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Two years on the team, signed a three-year contract, and in the first two seasons, Carlton Davis's injury... Carlton Davis. Russell Gage's injuries have been at the forefront of anything associated with his name. While he did play well in the Green Bay Packers game... 2022 Green Bay Packers, the Buccaneers lost. Russell Gage played well in that game. He had a couple of moments. This this release is not a surprising release, right? The Buccaneers looking to save space on the cap and also potentially it feels like a cutting of dead weight move. On paper, the signing of Russell Gage when Jason Light made that decision to bring him in made a lot of sense. A potential wide receiver three and a good and a good wide receiver three at that. The problem is, in reality, Russell Gage never came to be the Bucks wide receiver three, and that, that plan that Jason Light had, that vision that he saw, never really came to fruition because Russell Gage never got on the field. And that is tough for, you know, it's tough for Russell Gage, it was tough for the Buccaneers to stay invested in, in him beyond that <clears throat> over the first two years of that contract, and yeah. A release that you could have seen coming for sure. It'll be interesting to see now heading into the rest of the offseason. What do the Buccaneers do with the wide receiver position? Because yes, wide receiver is not necessarily a need. But your wide receiver three right now being uh, what? Trey Palmer or Devin Tompkins. Neither of those guys are players who you feel elitely confident in. Yes, Trey Palmer showed flashes at times last season where he had big plays, right? But he also had drops and a significant amount of inconsistencies. Devin Tompkins looked like little... He he looks, throughout his career, he's looked like little more than a potential gadget player. His size is obviously a massive reason why he's a very undersized player in the National Football League. Although he has the ability to make some plays, it's, a, usually, it's going to be in a limited capacity. So will the Buccaneers look to dive into the draft maybe with one of the third round picks they have and scoop up a receiver or is it something where in free agency they look in that next tier of free agents you know kind of the bargain deals where jason light has really made hay and scoop up a wide receiver to potentially compete with trey palmer for that third wide receiver spot it'll be interesting to see because it's not a need wide receiver is not a need for the buccaneers but it especially when you have high paid guys like Mike Evans and Chris Godwin at your one and your two, but it is something that could stand to be addressed. And it'll be interesting to see how the Buccaneers choose to go about doing that.